This segment of Naperville Sports Weekly is brought to you by BMO Harris Bank. We're joined with Wabonzi Valley middle hitter Carolyn Cordes. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Looking ahead uh, to this season, coming back, it's your senior year. Just how exciting has it been getting out there about the midway point of the season, but halfway through your senior year? It's been really exciting. Uh, our team's been working really hard, and we just want to show up and compete. And looking back at last season, that tough loss in the regional finals to St. Charles East, did that add any motivation coming into this season, kind of you know, add some fuel to the fire coming back and, and wanting a, a strong senior year? Yeah, definitely. Um, we came back working hard in practice. We really want to uh, go farther this year and maybe take it to sectionals and possibly state. <laughs> And you've, you've never been the highest seed uh, in, in your four years here at Wabonzi, but the team's always had pretty successful postseason runs, making regional finals, uh, made it to sectionals two years ago. How exciting is it getting to the postseason and kind of outperforming expectations? To be honest, uh, rankings don't really matter to us. We just want to work as hard as we can and try to go as far as we can. So you mentioned uh, you know, wanting to make a deep postseason run to state. What would that mean for yourself, uh, for the program as a whole, for Wabonzi Valley, uh, if the team was able to make a, a deep postseason run this year? That would mean a lot to all the seniors because we've been working really hard for this. It would obviously mean a lot to the whole team and it would be really good for the program because we've never made it that far. I don't think we've ever made it past a regional final. Like we've won regionals, but then we lost the next game. I think if we can make it even farther, it would mean a lot for this program. And looking at yourself individually, already committed to play uh, beach volleyball at Arizona next year, what kind of went into the process of, of deciding uh, where to play? Ever since I was little, I actually wanted to go to Arizona because both of my parents went there and my oldest brother went there. And uh, I started beach volleyball freshman year and um, sophomore year it became an NCAA sport. So it was like perfect timing and I really tried really hard to get recruited there and other schools but I ended up picking Arizona. I was taking a look at, at some of uh, Arizona's records the past couple of years. Looks like it is one of the, the better programs in the country. How exciting is it to be going to, to such a, a premier school for, for volleyball? It's such an honor. I'm so excited and I'm really excited to start playing there. And it's, it's not just going to be you, uh, your teammate Brooke Burling going to be playing there as well. Is that going to kind of take away some of the pressure uh, and, and maybe nervousness heading into your freshman season? Probably. I mean, me and Brooke have been best friends since middle school. And we're neighbors, so it'll be kind of like bring some home to Arizona. So the fact that you are neighbors, are you guys planning on rooming together at college as well? We're actually not planning on rooming together because that probably wouldn't be a good idea. But yeah, we'll see each other every day anyway. Yeah, so, uh, still going to be exciting. Um, looking back to this year, though, in your senior season, kind of having to take on a little bit more of that leadership role. Um, what has that been like, you know, kind of overseeing some of the, the younger players on the team, maybe first year varsity athletes? It's been really fun. I just love supporting the girls and watching them grow every day in practice, even if it's just a little bit each practice. And looking at the season as a whole, moving from the UEC to the DVC this year, has that been different at all uh, now that you're in the DVC, taking on slightly different competition, but DVC very talented uh, throughout from top to bottom? I was really excited when we heard the news that we're moving to the DVC because I think it's a lot of better competition. And also, uh, we're playing a lot of girls that are familiar to us, a lot of girls that are on our club teams, so it's really fun. And looking ahead, already 2-0 in the DVC, but still have some, some big matches coming up. Neequa Valley in particular, Naperville North going to be coming up. What are those games going to be like? Do you try and get any extra motivation or try and treat those like every other game? We try to come into every game as hard as we can, but those games I think we're especially going to have a lot of energy and we're just going to come out and try to win. Trying to keep it day to day, but do you ever find yourself looking ahead to regionals or do you try and just you know, focus on your upcoming matches? We just try to take one game at a time. We actually, um, our coach wants us to take just one point at a time, play as hard as you can each point. And uh, looking at this season, nine and six, it's been a successful year for you. Where, what else do you think this team has? Do you think it, it's going to be able to, to take that next step and uh, you know, hopefully make a deep postseason run? Yeah, I think that we actually had a rough start. Now we're connecting a lot better, and our practices have been getting better and better, and our coach has been pushing us hard. I think that we'll definitely make it farther this year. Half a season to go. What are some things that you think the team needs to work on to really get going to make that uh, postseason run late in the year? I think that each of us individually have to do our job on the court. We just have to keep working at our job um, every practice, just trying to get better one day at a time. That's all we need to do, and then I think we'll have success. All right, best of luck the rest of the way, and thank you for joining us.